OpenAI is launching a new video generation model, and it's called Sora. The AI company says Sora can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. The text-to-video model allows users to create photorealistic videos up to a minute long, all based on prompts they've written. Sora is capable of creating complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background, according to OpenAI's introductory blog post. The company also notes that the model can understand how objects exist in the physical world, as well as accurately interpret props and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. The model can also generate a video based on a still image, as well as fill in missing frames on an existing video or extend it. The Sora-generated demos included in OpenAI's blog post include an aerial scene of California during the gold rush, a video that looks as if it were shot from the inside of a Tokyo train, and others. Many have some telltale signs of AI, like a suspiciously moving floor in a video of a museum, and OpenAI says the model may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene, but the results are overall pretty impressive. A couple of years ago, it was text-to-image generators like Midjourney that were at the forefront of models' ability to turn words into images. But recently, video has begun to improve at a remarkable pace. Companies like Runway and Pika have shown impressive text-to-video models of their own, and Google's Lumiere figures to be one of OpenAI's primary competitors in this space, too. Similar to Sora, Lumiere gives users text-to-video tools, and also lets them create videos from a still image. Sora is currently only available to red teamers, assessing the model for potential harms and risks. OpenAI also offers access to some visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to get feedback. It notes that the existing model might not accurately simulate the physics of a complex scene and may not properly interpret certain instances of cause and effect. Earlier this month, OpenAI announced it's adding watermarks to its text-to-image tool Dolly 3, but notes that they can easily be removed. Like its other AI products, OpenAI will have to contend with the consequences of fake, AI photorealistic videos being mistaken for the real thing. We are taking several important safety steps ahead of making Sora available in OpenAI's products. We are working with red teamers, domain experts in areas like misinformation, hateful content, and bias, who will be adversarially testing the model. They are also building tools to help detect misleading content such as a detection classifier that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. The plan is to include C2PA metadata in the future if we deploy the model in an OpenAI product. And please before I forget if you're new to watching this video, and you have not subscribed to this channel please make sure you do so also. If you have any questions concerning this topic drop them in the comments we will be ready to reply to your comment. In addition to developing new techniques to prepare for deployment, they are leveraging the existing safety methods that we built for our products that use DAL E3, which apply to SOAR as well. For example, once in an OpenAI product, the text classifier will check and reject text input prompts that violate our usage policies, like those that request extreme violence, sexual content, hateful imagery, celebrity likeness, or the IP of others, We've also developed robust image classifiers that are used to review the frames of every video generated to help ensure that it adheres to our usage policies before it's shown to the user. They are engaging policymakers, educators, and artists around the world to understand their concerns and to identify positive use cases for this new technology. Despite extensive research and testing, they cannot predict all of the beneficial ways people will use our technology nor all the ways people will abuse it. That's why we believe that learning from real-world use is a critical component of creating and releasing increasingly safe AI systems over time. Sora is a diffusion model that generates a video by starting with one that looks like a static noise and gradually transforms it by removing the noise over many steps. Sora is capable of generating entire videos all at once or extending generated videos to make them longer. By giving the model foresight of many frames at a time, 
We've solved the challenging problem of making sure a subject stays the same even when it goes out of view temporarily. Similar to GPT models, Sora uses a transformer architecture, unlocking superior scaling performance. They represent videos and images as collections of smaller units of data called patches, each of which is akin to a token in GPT. By unifying how we represent data, we can train diffusion transformers on a wider range of visual data than was possible before, spanning different durations, resolutions, and aspect ratios. Sora builds on past research in DAL-V and GPT models. It uses the recaptioning technique from DAL-E3, which involves generating highly descriptive captions for the visual training data. As a result, the model can follow the user's text instructions in the generated video more faithfully. In addition to being able to generate a video solely from text instructions, the model can take an existing still image and generate a video from it, animating the image's contents with accuracy and attention to small details. The model can also take an existing video and extend it or fill in missing frames. Sora serves as a foundation for models that can understand and simulate the real world, a capability we believe will be an important milestone for achieving AGI. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the like button below to be notified anytime we post content like this thank you as you do. And don't forget to drop your question concerning the topic.